All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kapodash, Yahweh, just the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shah is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honor to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who we learn this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the hopefully elect. And today, this message will be titled, Mercy is the Key. Because this past Saturday, Kemp, you know, held our room speaking. And he made a point, you know, mercy is um, what we're going to need in the times to come. You see, so that will spark this lesson. Mercy is the key. Because without the mercy of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh hey, you're going to be through out here, man. You're going to be asked out. You're going to be killed. And that's just the bottom line. It ain't you. You're not gonna survive. You're gonna get erased, deleted, all those things. You see, that's why we pray and hope that Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, has His mercy upon us. You see, because it's gonna be so bad out here that we're gonna have to have Michael the Archangel stand up for us and protect us in the times to come. And if the Lord doesn't bless you with his mercy, you won't have no type of protection in the times to come. Because the scripture tell you, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You see, we trust in on Yahweh by Hashem Shah to deliver us. As our forefathers did, King David, the three holy children in the fiery furnace, Daniel in the lion's den. You see? So forth and so on, man. That's we we we're trusting in the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shah. He tell us to lay up our riches according to heaven. You see, and that's what's gonna fight for us and protect us in the times to come. Not uh no carnal weapons or or carnal prepping. It's gonna be the mercy of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And this is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 7. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. You see? So first, you have to be merciful to obtain mercy. We get this word merciful. This is the word for merciful, G1655. And it says merciful. And when you come down to the strong definition, it takes you to compassionate. You see, and who are the compassionate? The elect, starting with the, the prophets, the head, apostles, elders on down, man. Those are the compassionate because they speak the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. You see? In fact, this is the book of Second Chronicles, chapter 36, and verse 15. And Yahweh, power of their fathers, sent to them by his messengers, rising up be times and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. You see? So the messengers, and who's constantly out on the highways and byways, constantly uploading videos, they warning you. Of the destruction to come from Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Hey, that's those are the compassionate ones through through the um spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua. Because ultimately, it's the Lord and the prophets. They're just a hey, telling you the message of the Lord. A hey, repent, return back to Yahweh, which is the heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shah, which is His only begotten Son, who the world know as Jesus Christ, who shed His blood for our nation. That's where the true compassion come from. From the Heavenly Father sacrificing His only begotten Son for our nation to bring us back in His good graces to, to, to destroy wickedness and spring up righteousness here on earth. That's the compassion that the Lord has for the nation of Israel. And we out here warning of these things hey, so you can so we can receive mercy first and foremost to get the blood off our hands. And Lord will that you listen 
and you receive the mercy as well. Lord willing, we all did delay. But continuing on, it says, but they mocked the messengers of the Most High and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of Yahweh arose against his people till there was no remedy. You see, so all you scoffers and mockers, and you won't receive the mercy of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, man. Because you don't want to uh, accept uh, the love that the Lord is showing unto you, giving you a uh, warning, and he giving you time to get yourself together. But you want to continue to play. So, hey, you won't receive that mercy. Uh, when you go into the root word of merciful, it says to have mercy on it says to help one afflicted or seeking aid. You see? And that's what we're doing, man. That's what the merciful is doing. They have mercy because we have compassion for Jake. For some niggas, you just like, yeah, kill him, Lord. Sometimes you hope that Jake get it. Like, you know, he come off like, okay, I hope Jake get it, man. It says to help the afflicted ones because who? The nation of Israel, we're the lowest people ever. We're the most afflicted, man. In fact, I think this is it right here. Yep. The nation of Israel is the most afflicted people here on earth, man. It says, this is the book of the prayer of Azariah. And it's also known as the, um, so I can want you to make sure. Yeah, in the physical book, the, um, the three holy children. One in verse four, yeah, 14, for we, O Lord, are become less than any nation and be kept under this day in all the world because of our sins. You see, so we'll become less than any nation throughout the four corners of the earth. And they said we're kept under, under what subjection? Because of the sins that we have committed. But the Lord A has brought us back into our heritage, into our ways, man. Starting with our elder Abba Bibbins, passed down. Uh, to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone to this day, man. Now this is the Lord. He has uh, opened up that compassion back unto us, giving us our hairs back, showing us the way hey, that we're supposed to move. And the Lord blessed us with the understanding. So it's our job to be merciful, to do the work, you know, as our forefathers been doing, as it's been passed down to us, and we enter into, our, into their labors. To be merciful as well to get the blood off our hands and show you the way through the spirit and power of your how about Shema al Shah. It says to help the afflicted, to bring help to the wretched. There's another precept. I won't get it on this one. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 24, and verse 11 in the NLT. Like it says, uh, to have mercy on the afflicted, to help them. It says, rescue those who are unjustly sentenced to death. And that's the nation of Israel. And you see that by all their ways, man. Esau, Edom put pork in everything. Got you uh, niggas getting uh, edge ups. You see? Uh, committing adultery. That's you uh, being sentenced to death, man. Because all, hey. As long as Esau Edom got you going off, you're gonna your life is gonna go down here until the Lord kill you. And it says, save them as they stagger to their death. You see? And that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna stagger until your death to wanna live after the ways of an American. And we're here to tell you, hey, to repent and return back until your how about Shimal Shah. Because he's gonna destroy America. And if you don't wanna uh change your ways and come out of the uh, the ways of an American, you're going to die here. Verse 12 in the NLT says, don't excuse yourself by saying, look, we didn't know. For the Most High understands all hearts and he sees you. You see? So you people, you can't even say you didn't know 
You roll by, you saw the prophets, you scoff. You see? Crazy niggas with Bibles and dresses and, you know. So, it ain't going to be no excuse. There's going to be no cloak for your sins. Because everything that the prophets are saying is coming to pass. World War Three is in the scriptures. And now you see that in the news. You see? Wars, rumors of wars. You got Ukraine versus Russia. China versus Taiwan. North Korea versus South Korea. Uh, Israel. Those Israelis versus those uh, Arabs over there. And you got America in the midst of it all. Uh stirring all of it up man and the under and the most high said he understand all hearts so he know you niggas knew you you see this shit going on but you just try to have a blind eye to it because you don't want these things to happen hey but you're gonna die here playing and it says he who guards your souls knows you knew he will repay all people as their actions deserve so you want to continue to play on, scoff, teach false doctrines, don't want to listen to the true words of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, and you will be repaid for your actions. This is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 7 again. And it says, Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. I'm going back to the word merciful, G1655. Yep, and it took you to G 1653 and the root word for G 1653 is G 1656 it says mercy it says kindness or goodwill towards the miserable and the afflicted joined with a desire to help them you see and that's what we're looking for in the Lord man for him to uh be kind towards us to show us his goodwill when all hell break loose, when Jacob's trouble is out here. You see? When there's no food to eat, we're hoping that the Lord do good towards us and bless us to eat, to bless us to have water to drink. You see? It says, so like in one moment. Okay. It says, And and that's what and once again that's what the prophets are doing, to be merciful to the nation that they and they giving up their lives to do the uh to be about our father's business, you see, out on the highways and byways constantly warning you, trying to help you but you don't want to listen. And for the ones who do listen, hey, may you have about your shy, hey, bless all of us to hold fast to be of his elect to receive that mercy in the times to come. It say of men towards men to exercise the virtue of mercy, show oneself merciful. You see, that's a uh, doing the work. It says of the most high toward men in general providence, the mercy and clemency of the most high in providing and offering to men salvation by Hamashiach Yahushua. You see, the mercy and clemency of the Lord. That's what we're looking for. This is the uh, simple Google definition for clemency. It says mercy, leniency. It says yep, compassion, forbearance, charity, kindness, leniency. It says the fact or quality of being more merciful or tolerant than expected. Clean clemency and that's what we're looking for the lord to a uh, to have his mercy upon us you see and for all you people who don't receive uh clemency and the mercy from you how about you you're going to receive the opposite the lord is going to be ruthless to you niggas man hey by the way of apparitions cheat the wild beasts newly created creatures your bugged out neighbor who hasn't eaten in a couple of days your children might just show how much they really hate you and just kill you in the times that we're up ahead, uh, in the time of Jacob's trouble. You see? And it says, what does it mean to grant a criminal clemency? 
And we're all uh, criminals. I tell you how our righteousness is as filthy uh, as a menstrual cloth. And we all have committed sins worthy to death. And we're hoping that the Lord a pardon us. Have clemency uh, upon us. It says clemency. It says reduce a defendant's sentence or grant a pardon. You see, and that's what we're hoping that Yahweh by Shemal Shai a reduce our sentence and grant us with a pardon. Bless us not to be uh bugged out in the mind to where we receive the microchip and die here in America by the way of nuclear missiles. No, we want to be saved from those things, man. It says, continuing on, it says, the mercy of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, whereby at his return to judgment. He will bless true Christians with eternal life. And Christians is not going into the Christian church. No, this is going into the, the true men of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, Israelites. You see? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the elect of the nation of Israel, who wholeheartedly seek after our Lord, our powers, Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai? Those are the true Christians. And once again, it says, The mercy of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, whereby at his return to judgment, and it tell you how the Lord, the slain of the Lord shall be many. You see? That's going to be the judgment when he return with the host of heaven with all those chariots, zapping niggas, uh, killing you by the way of uh, teeth of wild beasts, the lake of fire, it says he will bless true Christians with eternal life. You see, the elect will be beamed up on those chariots, and they're going to watch the destruction of America, man. You see? So back again to the title. That's why it says mercy is the key. That's what we're looking for. Mercy from our powers. Yahweh by Shem al And it says, bless are the merciful. You see? For the ones who are doing the work, trusting on the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shai, for they shall obtain mercy. And that's what we're looking forward to, to obtain that mercy. Yep. And that's it. Hey, to have mercy on, to help one afflicted. And that's what we're hoping for, that Yahweh by Shemal Shai helps us in the time to come, in the time of Jacob's trouble, when all hell break loose. Like I said, it's to help one that's afflicted because, hey, we're all going to be tried. And the brothers always say, you may not eat for a couple of days, but the Lord ain't going to have you to starve to death. That's going to be the mercy that the Lord has for his elect, man. You see? As a matter of fact, I'm going to close it out. Yeah. I don't close down with it, but I'm going to, um, yep, this is the mercy that we're searching for, that we're hoping in. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 65 and verse 13. It says, therefore, therefore, thus said the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You see, so that's what we're hoping in. We're hoping to eat, drink, and rejoice in the times to come, man. While you niggas out here starving, dying of thirst and weeping, and ashamed for not one of hearkening to the words of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. It says, Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. You see, because all hell is going to break loose and you're going to have no help. You see, and that's the mercy that we're hoping in, that the Lord bless us and protect us in the times to come. And I'm going to close it out right here. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince will stand before the children of thy people. 
You see, and that's how bad it's going to be out here. This is going to be the mercy that the elect is going to receive. He's going to have Michael the Archangel stand up for you, man. You saw Edom I had your house surrounded. The Lord sent angels down to kill them all, man. That's why I say the things that are written the fourth time are written for our learning. These are different accounts happen throughout the scriptures. And it says, And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. There's going to be a time of trouble such as never before. You see? And it says, And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Those are going to be the only souls who's going to be delivered. The ones found written in the book of life. The elect. i tell you how uh, two-thirds are going to be cut off here and die. And the third is going to be left therein. And that's what we're hoping to be. Uh, we're hoping on that mercy to be a part of the elect, man. To be able to eat when the great famine. Have water. Shelter. To be rejoicing and laughing at the downfall of America. <laughs> you see? To have Michael the Archangel stand up for us. And ultimately, hey, to be able to elect to be being up on those chairs and watch uh, America cook, man. So, hey, Lord willing, this video, you know, is edifying to you, brothers and sisters. I want to end it off by giving our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kapodash. Double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who we learned this truth from. And Shalom to the whole for the elect.